Okay, now sadly, uh, it's not that sad really because I spent about 30 minutes writing what I've just written here. Um, so this is going to be a hugely con condensed. Okay, let me just. Okay, condensed um, episode. Of, this is question one, anyway. It's, it's, so this it, it isn't even a series yet, but it will be a series, obviously. So the question is, what is the size of deanery values that can be represented in 16-bit twos complement binary? Now, uh, deanery, uh, that word just means uh, decimal. Um, uh, so we've got A minus 128 to 127, B 0 to 65,536, C is 0 to 255, D is th minus 32768 to 32767, E is 0 to F. Um, so we need to look up first the range of values in the answers. As you can see, now A has got a range of 256. And it's important to remember, you know, you can look at that like two blocks. It's like minus 1 to minus 128. So that's, whoop, that's 128 values there, and then 0 to 127, uh, whoop, that's um, 128 values there, and then bosh it together, 256. Okay, um, which is good. Um, and B, as you can tell, it's got a range of 65,537, which is 2 to 16 plus 1. Uh, you know, it's very easy there to think that the range there is 65,536, but obviously the problem is the 0 keeps on coming in all the time to fuck everything up so um, and then we've got C which has got a range of um, 256 um, which is pretty obvious again you know with the same logic I used in the uh, previous statement and D has got a range of 65,536 which is obvious so what I was trying to do before is I was trying to exclude values that were, were incorrect uh, ranges that were incorrect um, I came up with this little thing. It's not, it's not exactly rocket science, but um, one bit is two values on and off. It's basically the essential um, terms with how a uh, yeah switch. Almost anything has to work like this, you know. Even something, even like resistors or things which we deal with low and high, you know, and impedance. All this, all the electrical stuff. It all really has to work on making uh, you know a value call, a judgment call, maybe um, based on you know the electricity stuff. Uh, that's going on whether that's if it's high or on or you know some some uh, delineation between the two okay um so then we, anyway, we, work, we worked out that um you know we we what i actually did i'll show you this bit again is we worked out that two to the four um is is that, that's what that's what zero to f is because zero is because zero to f is the hexadecimal so there's um 16 digits there there's naught one two three four five six seven eight nine a b c d e and f so if you think about it you've got one to nine is nine digits a to f is six digits nine plus six is 15 plus one is 16 so that's 16 so that's a four bit system and in a four bit system we deal with four bits which is there Okay, so so all the numbers. So you've got so so essentially you've got zero 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 is um, that's not zero 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 one is one zero zero one zero is two, uh, and that's interesting because you can tell that the that it's it it's because it goes up to ten. It becomes a power of one, so it becomes two to the one. It becomes a, a like a one bit system, and then and not surprisingly zero one zero zero, um, you know that makes up that's. Um, uh, Yeah, sorry, I was thinking about something else. Um, okay, so it's a four-bit system anyway. So it's four bits, uh, 16 values, okay? So um, there's not really much more to say about it than that. Uh, anyway, but, well, the only thing we can say is too low. And if we look at, um, uh, next we're looking at the 8-bit uh, the, um, uh, system, um, which is, uh, so 2 to the 8 is 256, so it's an 8-bit system. So, you know, lots of things you can do with 8 bits, really. You could have, uh, you know, the TV channels from 0 to 99. Actually, you don't need a 7-bit system for that because it's less than 128. But anyway, so that's completely wrong. Okay. And as you can imagine, yeah. And so that's 8. So, so for an 8-bit system, we're going to need 256. So if we wanted to do a nice 8-bit system, uh, if we wanted to, you know, just regular numbers in binary is 0 to 255, and then the two's complement system in, in uh, the 8-bit system is minus 128 to 127. They're all the values that it can take on. 
Okay, so we whipped out E, we whipped out um, A, we whipped out uh, C, so we are left with B or D. Which one is it? Um, um, so in two's common, we need to represent negative numbers as well as positive, so the answer is D. Uh, zero is positive. Uh, the thing about computer science is it doesn't actually make sense, and it's not actually a science. It's an artistic interpretation of what can be done with 20th century laws of electromagnetism. And... And yeah, and, and everyone's like that, really. I mean, that's just the truth, really. It's well, not the truth. Because, you know, if you look at Wikipedia, they'll tell you, you know, it's only ver verifiability. There's no truth. You know, how can there be truth when, you, you know, unless it's been verified? Yeah? So we just verify this shit as much as we can. Because that's, as, as humans, just all we can do, just verify pre-existing conditions. You know, we can't, you can't, you can't exactly, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, does, uh, what is it, a posteriori existent, uh, information even, you know, actually no, that is the one that does exist, a priori doesn't exist, yeah, because you can't know anything prior to experience, but then you suppose you can know facts, but then, you know, yeah, but anyway, uh, so, so the answer is D, yeah, because D has got all the fields, we've got the nice big block, We've got the 32768 block, which is funnily enough the number of colours that was used in the SNES. So, you can probably tell. Um, yeah. That's why the SNES was a 16-bit system. Um, well, the SNES itself wasn't actually a 16-bit system, was it? It was that's the whole thing. But the uh, the 65816, the processor inside it, um, the instruction set must have been 16-bit, I suppose. But... Um, 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 uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to do question two next. Uh, I've already, I've still taken ridiculously long, but I, I quite like taking a, a long time. Uh, and yeah, uh, if you want to leave a comment, you can, but I don't really like comments that much. Uh, you know, and and I'll probably be looking at your sort of race and ethnicity to evaluate whether I want to keep your comment in um, because that is the way I am. But anyway, um, thanks so much for your time and join me again for lesson two.